Your 48 uses its memory for the different processes, either IPS, antivirus, or general functionality. Now, when it reaches your memory threshold, it gets into what is known as a conserve mode. How do you control it and how do you decide which operations takes place when you enter conserve mode? Coming up. Getting into a conserve mode is not a desirable thing. Now, there are actually three thresholds that you can actually configure by yourself, and those thresholds determine when you enter a conserve mode, when you exit from a conserve mode, and when the sessions are being dropped as you're entering an extreme threshold. So let's take a look at it. Let's just stop our DAG system and let's config system global. And in, cons in config system global, you can actually set the different thresholds. Now, the extreme threshold is actually the threshold or the percentage of total memory when your 48 starts to drop a session. You can also set the green thresholds, which is the thresholds where your 48 exits from the conserve mode. And there's the red threshold, that is the thresholds when your 48 enters conserve mode. Now, when your 48 enters conserve mode, something happens. The first one, your 48 doesn't accept any configuration changes. The second thing, it doesn't execute any quarantines. Now, there are other things that you can configure as sessions on your IPS engines and antivirus. So let's just get out of the different thresholds. Config IPS global. Set fail open. Now you can decide either to enable fail open or disable. If you enable IPS fail open, packets will still flow, will still go through the different interfaces, but with no IPS inspection. If you choose to disable it, the packets that require IPS inspection will be dropped. Now, if you want to check if you're in the conserve mode or not, you can just use the DIAG hardware sysinfo conserve. If you do so, you can see that you're currently not in a conserve mode. If you were in a conserve mode, you will see the on instead of the off. And you can also see your total RAM and the memory that is being used. You can also see that the threshold for the red extreme mode is actually 95% of total RAM. You will enter conserve mode at 88% of total memory and you will exit from conserve mode when you get down the threshold of 82%.